Hello everyone, welcome to another video here on Motorcycling Endeavors. Well, I finally did it. I finally purchased my first three-quarter helmet. Let me actually kind of move this out into the sun here a little bit so you can see it. So that's it right there. That's the three-quarter face helmet. Hopefully the vision is good on this. But it is a, let me go over here to the box here. The helmet is a uh, LS2 uh, Spitfire Rust helmet. It is uh, red. It's XL. I got a big head. And there's the label right here. I did purchase it from Rubzilla. Now, I will say this is the first time I ever tried a three quarter face helmet, something that I've always wanted to do. And I just got back from a short ride. And I figured I'm just gonna share my thoughts, you know, on uh, the, my first ever three-quarter face helmet. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this up here on the motorcycle here. Kind of let's let the motorcycle model it a little bit. So this is a uh, three-quarter face helmet. Now, it's something that I've wanted to try uh, for a while now. And um, I just never really pulled the trigger on it, to be honest with you. But I set a few extra bucks aside and purchased this helmet. Now, this is not a overly expensive helmet, to be honest with you. Um, it is uh, it is DOT approved, um, but it's not overly expensive. I think it's like 119 bucks or something. I think it says it right there on the box. Brought this from Redzilla. Yeah, 119 bucks. That's what I spent on it. So it's not an overly um, expensive helmet. And I figured for my first time trying it, I wasn't going to go and spend an astronomical amount of money on a really nice uh, three-quarter helmet. But I will say, um, transferring from a, uh, not transferring, but using full-face helmets, all of my uh, riding um, career so far, you could say, riding career, riding life so far, I've only used full-face helmets. But this is the first uh, three-quarter face helmet that I've used. So, um, as you can imagine, it, it is definitely, uh, it, it's open face, so there's no facial protection. So I did buy these uh, Nighthawk goggles here. That's what these are. These are Nighthawk goggles. I purchased these from uh, Revzilla as well. They are photochromatic lenses, so uh, they are nice, especially it's a sunny day, uh, you know, just like today. Yeah, there's the sun. So, um, so it was really nice. I just went out just for a ride, about 20, 25 miles or so uh, around there. And, just got gas and I have to say I do like it um, I do like you do feel the wind there's no heat build up there's no um, it just it, it feels pretty good and the perspective is different there's there's no doubt about it I mean comparing it to a uh, a full face helmet where you where your, your visor is limited here your face is out in the open so this is not necessarily a low profile helmet it definitely uh, when you um, go in front of the mirror and you put it on, uh, it'll definitely look like you know you, you got a big head. But it is significantly smaller than a full face. Like for example, so this is my, this is my. If I'm going to put this right here side by side, that is my my baby right there, the Arai Defiant X. That is a full face helmet, and it's a big helmet. It is a very large helmet compared to the three-quarter face helmet is definitely um, you know much smaller uh, in, in all race around it's it's a smaller width uh, it's a smaller depth um, it's just yeah it's just a significantly uh, uh, smaller helmet um, but yet it, it it's not like a an extremely uh, low profile helmet so you'll just have to try if you ever get one of these you'll just have to try it on and go in the mirror to go oh yeah that's not really just kind of streamlined mobile profile because I mean it does still have you know ample amount of padding you know and stuff in there uh, one thing I do like about this it doesn't have the d-ring it's just got a, uh, a uh, quick release right here which is really really nice so anyway this is my first three-quarter face helmet um, like I said I went on a ride for about uh, 20 25 miles just kind of around some uh some backcountry roads 
and I have to say I honestly do like it. Um, it'll take some more getting used to because there is wind. I did feel just a little bit turbulence up near the, the goggles area. Um, but other than that, uh, it was nice. I mean, the, the wind, it, it wind's in your face. It's just a very nice and u unique feel. Um, of course, naturally, uh, it's not something I would vlog in. It's kind of no place for the microphone or the camera to go unless you put it on the side. But um, it's certainly, uh, you know, you don't have the full protection like the, the full face helmet. But nonetheless, this is a really nice pickup that I have. Um, I have to like it. Um, I'm going to go out, uh, do a little bit more riding, probably head back out tomorrow and uh, just continue to use it and, uh, and get used to it because, like I said, it is a, it's a significant difference in field and uh, from the full face. I mean, yeah, from the full face helmet because you are limited in your, in your, if you look at, right, I mean, in the full face, you're limited by the, the visor. There, there's no limitation. So, you know, to me, I actually see a lot more and it's just, you're kind of just really, really out there. Um, it's actually kind of nice. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with everyone. So this is my first three-quarter helmet. I, I actually like it. It is uh, obviously, it's uh, this one right here. And again, this is the, this is the uh, LS2 Spitfire Rust Helmet. It is, uh, you know, part of their vintage series, so to speak. So, but it's a nice, I, I like it. it it's, it's a like helmet, it's different, it stands out. It's not, you know, monochromatic, you know. You, you will see this, you know, when you're, when people are driving on the road. So, and I like to be, I like to be visible. But this is a really, really nice helmet and um i like it so i'm going to continue to use it and uh will i ever make a switch over to a permanent three-quarter face helmet hard to say it's it's hard to say because i know my um arrive the defiant x is on its, its last couple years so i will need to invest in a um in a uh in a new full face uh you know helmet uh which i will have um, but uh, just just going out and rides and just cruising the backcountry roads where where I'm not you know on a state road where I need to you know keep up with traffic or anything like that. Um, if I'm just leisurely driving on a backcountry road or just have the road to myself or semi to myself, three quarter face helmet, great. You know I can just go at my own pace, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sun, and just be out and that's heck that's one of the reasons why we ride but anyway i just wanted to share this with you all and um if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave it in the comments have a great day